Hi viewers, this is San and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today's topic is cable size selection for motors. In my previous videos, I have uh, discussed about the cable size selection for transformers and different kind of loads. But this time, uh, we will discuss about the cable size selection for the motors. Let's start our video. Before going to into details, I would like to set an example uh, for a motor that having a capacity of 435 kilowatt, uh, which is a three phase motor with having a power factor of 0.8. The efficiency of the motor is 95%. The motor will operate at 415 volts. Keep in mind that the power formula for calculating the motor rating is under 3 vi cos theta into efficiency keep in mind when you are calculating for the motors you have to add the efficiency of the motor as well into the power formula so by rearranging this formula you can easily calculate the full load current of the motor which is coming up to 796 amperes the full load amperes of this motor is on a higher side which may require a massive size of the cable therefore it is suggested to increase the number of runs and not to reduce it to a convenient size of a cable so let's move. Before going into the details, it is important after calculating the full load current, we have to define the minimum cable size for the motor as well. And the minimum cable size can be calculated by adding the safety factor into the full load current. Keep in mind that some designer used to take 25% and some take 35 30% safety factor into the full load current. Uh, for the minimum cable size of the motor. So here we are taking the 25%. So when we are calculating the safety factor on the full load current, adding the safety factor on the full load current, we are getting the value of 995 amperes. The service factor for this motor is 1.15%. Uh, service factor is basically uh, the, the overload condition that a motor can withstand. So here, this motor can withstand for 15% overload condition. So, uh, this 50 service factor value is also incorporated into our safety factor, which is 125%. So we don't need to add on extra uh, factor on top of it. So let's move on. Now we have the full load current as well as the minimum cable size, which is 995 amperes. So, the cable selection according to the voltage drop. We need to calculate, and for that, our motor rating is 435 kilowatt. The full load current we have got is 796 amperes, and the minimum cable size is 995. The length of the conductor is 450 meters from the motor to the panel, so which is quite huge. We need to adjust this matter into a voltage drop, that our voltage drop must condition must fulfill uh, the IC standard, uh, which is 2.5 to 5 percent or uh, less than 5 percent under the normal condition and when you are calculating at uh, the motor static current condition it should be in between 10 to 15 percent so the cable type that we have we, we are getting here is four core 300 mm square copper xlp armor the ambient temperature is 945 degree and the grouping factor is three to four runs we are uh, going to run on each tray uh, we are having two number of trays uh, with the one diameter spacing so as we are taking the xlp cable at 45 degree ambient temperature, the correction factor is 0.87. And for the grouping factor, as we are taking on the horizontal perforated cable tray with diameter spacing, uh, three uh, number of cables on per tray and two number of trays we are getting. So the safety, uh, the correction factor we are getting up to 0.96. So let's go to our calculation. <laughs> So we have multiplied these two correction factors, that is 0.87 into 0.96, we get the D rating factor which is 0.8. So the total number runs we are expecting here is 7 numbers, 4 core 300 mm square. So the D rating current can be calculated easily by dividing the full load current by the D rating factor which is 0.8. So the value is coming up to 995 amperes. So now we are going to calculate the voltage drop which can be calculated by multiplying the millivolt per ampere per meter value with the full load current, and that is 796, 
into the length of the conductor which is 450 divided by 7 into 1000. We are getting the value of 9.46 volt. Keep in mind with that we get this value from the cable table. Let me show you. For 4 core 300 mm square, the millivolt per ampere per meter value we are getting is 0 0.185 as we are using the 3 uh, or 4 core cable in a 3 phase system AC. So we are getting the 0 0.185 value from here. Let's go to a calculation. So the voltage drop we are getting is 9.46 and the voltage drop percentage we are getting is 2.27 percent which is within the allowable voltage drop condition that is less than 5 percent or between 2.5 to 5 percent. So let's move on. Now we calculate the voltage drop condition at the motor starting currents. So the rest of the values are same. We just need to uh, calculate the starting current. The starting current can easily be calculated by multiplying the full load current with a multiplying factor of 4 to 8. Some more, uh, in some condition it is 4, in some condition it is 6 and in some condition it is 8. So you need to make sure what is your uh, rotor uh, lock rotor current value. So you can just multiply with that and you can get the value of the starting current that is 3184 ampere in this condition. So we just need to uh, put in uh, the starting current value into the voltage drop formula. So instead of putting the full load current, now we are putting the value of the starting current, motor starting current, which is 3184. So by calculating this value, we are getting the voltage drop value up to 37.86 volts and the voltage drop percentage is 9.12. So this is uh, within the allowable voltage drop percentage, which is around 10 to 15 percent under the motor starting condition. So now we are fulfilling both the condition that under the normal conditions, normal current condition, the motor starting under the normal uh, condition, we are getting uh, the voltage drop percentage of 2.27 percent which is also within the limit and also you have to calculate and make sure that you also fulfill uh, the voltage drop condition and the starting current where you are getting the 9.12 percent which is also in between the 10 to 15 percent uh, allowable condition. So you are fulfilling both the conditions now. The remaining you need to calculate the cable selection according to the current as you are using 7 runs of 4 core 300 mm square cable. So you need to go to the cable table and for 4 core cables at 300 mm square size the value of the current is 628 amperes. So you need to just multiply it with the 7 number of runs into the 0.8. Point 0.8 is the calculating factor that you have calculated in the last uh, slide. So you just need to multiply, you are getting the value of 3516 3, amperes which is greater than the D rating current that is 995 and also greater than the full load current which is 796 ampere. So that means 4 core 300 mm square copper XLP armored cable is absolutely okay uh, in these conditions. Um, so you are not only fulfilling the current condition but you are also uh, fulfilling the voltage drop condition at the motor starting current and also the voltage drop condition at the motor uh, normal currents okay that is the full load currents so that's all for now i hope this video is uh, should be uh, very beneficial for you as uh, this is specifically um, designed uh, for the cable size selection of uh, motors in the future video i will also discuss how you can calculate the cable size for the group of motors so uh, keep watching my videos, subscribe my channel, like my videos. Thank you. Bye for now.